Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to show you, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a uh, sticker peel off effect like the one that you see right now in code pen, it's an online editor. This is uh, a pure CSS effect, it doesn't use any uh, JavaScript at all okay. and it's as easy as ABC people. Just follow me along and you'll see that it's not too difficult at all. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna destruct the CSS and reconstruct it so you'll get a good idea how to do it. Simple. Actually, uh, even before I take you inside the code, let me simply explain what it is. It's just, uh, you know, I'm, I've just played around with the linear gradient and two circles. This is circle number one and this corner is actually circle number two that's actually superimposed it's overlapping the first circle in such a manner the uh, you know the bottom circle has a linear gra uh, gradient created in such a manner you know going from yellow to orange that it gives you that nice peel off effect <coughs> and uh, this area is actually uh, white smoke just an off white color right okay, so let's let's uh, do everything from the very beginning as far as CSS is concerned I won't be touching the HTML but just let's have a look at the HTML so we have a div with a class of peel and uh, just two words inside which, which uh, are peel off right so that's all that is there to the HTML and nothing else and let me just get inside these settings mm, stuff for head it says just let's add some title mm. and let me just uh, push in quality lessons dot net that's it <coughs> this is uh, not compulsory people I just pushed in some stuff for head okay let's hit the save button all this is not gonna change anything at all righto let's uh, get inside the settings out here notice that I'm actually uh, keeping the radio button on prefix free basically that allows me to write vendor prefix free you know everything happens in the back in the background and uh, yep though I can use the normalize and the reset uh, CSS files too uh, this is an automated process I'm actually uh, going with neither all right so uh, let's demolish most of the CSS so I can reconstruct it. I'm gonna keep the body rule as is just uh, you know uses a 200 px of margin all around so create some cushion so I can actually see the peel off effect easily let me demolish this rule this class which is the class peel let's hit the delete button and the other rule too you see the first circle gone the second circle still remains <coughs> right so uh, all I'm actually left with is this uh, you know these two words peel off they're actually coming from here so inside the div of the class of peel we have these two words peel off and they show up out here this is a live preview people this is a live pane so whatever changes are happen out here and here they immediately reflect out here after a few seconds that's very cool so uh, you see let's start constructing the rule or the class peel. So let's say a width of 180 plus a height of 120. I'm using emit uh, hit tab. Emit allows you to uh, code out real quick the way I actually did right now. Since code pen this online editor is uh, emit enabled. I'm making cool use of it. Very, very cool. Okay <coughs> now so let's create the first circle let's use the background shorten property and then linear dash gradient right I'm gonna use the linear gradient very intelligently because this is the core this is the core of the logic this is uh, you know this is the backbone let's see how I actually do it so two top right now this actually talks about the direction so that's the first argument the first parameter that I need to input then I can go in with the colors so I'm saying I would want the color yellow to be up to 60 percent okay then I would want a shade of orange too 
going up to 75 percent these are colors of people okay so from yellow to uh, orange and then uh, at the same color stop so white smoke at 75 percent to create the hard edge and then again white smoke till a hundred percent okay so <laughs> Uh, notice the way I've actually created the linear gradient. Now it's time to uh, add some top padding as well. So padding top tab and uh, ADPX. I want to push the push the text down, people. You see the peel off has actually been pushed down. And next, what I need to do is let's set let's set the position to be a relative. So position pause or tab position relative and border radius I'm going to turn this uh, whole structure <coughs> into a perfect uh, circle so border dash radius 100% ok so this actually should be some miscalculation out here. This is 100. Yeah, a perfect square. Mm, let's use the text align property so, and set it to be a uh, center tab. Yep. You see the peel off is now in the center of the circle. And now let's use the font shorten property. Let's go with bold. 24 px hell vertical right -o. okay so you see <coughs> this is the first circle you know a uh, job half accomplished people this is the trick this is the way you should be actually using uh, you know another another circle comes overlaps it and uh, I'll be actually done all right and in the end just uh, you know a subtle box shadow so 0 0 0 so x displacement y displacement and blur radius 0 0 0 spread 1 px color smoke white now, you can actually do away with this uh, this creates a subtle very subtle uh, 3d effect a subtle box shadow now not absolutely necessary if you wish you can do away with that it's not going to make too much of a difference but just give that subtle 3d effect which you really can't see now let's uh, complete the uh, let's save. I'm sorry, burping at the wrong time. Let's save the um, the pen or the document as it's called in code pen. Um, let's create the uh, peel colon before rule allows you to create some uh, pseudo content before and after. You know the pseudo elements before and after allow you to add some pseudo content before and after the element itself. Okay, so you always start with the uh, content property and uh, the trick is to actually keep it blank next people position of absolute because it's, it's being positioned relative to the parent which is the first circle people alright so position absolute and whenever you set the uh, position absolute you got to be using the top and the left uh, properties to uh, align the you know the other circle properly at the right place. I know my calculations. I know it's uh, top minus 90 px and uh, sorry that's px and uh, <coughs> the other circle which is not yet created has to be at uh, 91 px from the left and from the top minus 90 px. Righto. So that's actually positioning the upcoming circle at the right place. And then um, let's uh, set the width and height. So width uh, 180, which also is the height, coincidentally, uh, tab. So it's got to have a width and height of 180px. Now, people, I'm going uh, to uh, align it. Uh, you know, I'm going to color it. Since the dimensions are ready, the the I just need to use the background shorten property 
and then use linear gradient very intelligently just uh, like I use with the first circle. So linear gradient and this time the direction is to bottom left okay so angular top to bottom at an angle of 45 right now the first color this time has got to be transparent okay uh, going up to a 75 percent so actually making it invisible the uh, top right half I'm actually rendering it invisible that's the trick and then uh, the next color that I'm gonna use is yellow again starting from the same juncture or the same color stop 75 percent that's gonna create the hard edge alrighty and then uh, going up to a hundred percent yellow so whether I mention hundred percent out here or not it just means the same thing so from a 75 percent to 100 percent and you see it's you know instead of creating a circle it's actually created a rectangle that's simply because I am still to use the border radius property so border dash radius uh, gonna be 100 percent old trick people turn a, a square or a rectangle into a oval or a circle and there you are I'm actually done it's that simple you see if you're still confused momentarily let me turn this red transparent into red so you can actually see the other circle properly this is the other circle people you know the 75% um, of the circle I've actually rendered transparent and I just positioned it uh, top and left at the right place so one circle overlapping the other circle in such a manner uh, you know that you get the uh, so uh, turning it back transparent you get the sticker peel off effect and that's not too difficult so it's just playing around with the uh, <coughs> Uh, the linear gradients and uh, shades like yellow and orange which are actually quite close to each other which you know kind of give you the uh, kind of uh, the darkish uh, corners of the shadow effect right I've actually uh, used the orange color ideally it should be a shade slightly uh, darker than uh, yellow but slightly uh, milder than uh, orange ideally but since I, I, I didn't uh, you know poke too much into this uh, this thing and uh, just shows orange loosely I would suggest you use a color which is slightly darker than orange uh, uh, lighter than orange but darker than uh, yellow you'll get a still you still get a better effect so people um, let me save the pen or the document in code pen we call it a pen and let me tell you this is the the highlighted part is the uh, the URL that you need to go to and fetch all the code the HTML and the CSS which I'm gonna leave in the description so tell me how you found this uh, tutorial if you think uh, it's it's quite uh, quite cool then please thumb the video up please sub subscribe if you already haven't and keep uh, joining me in more tutorials to come in the future you have a good day bye bye peace